nikamwambia fanya hivi unaona enda place fulani 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 kuna church mali fulani kesho wewe time tu mtoto wangu anacheza cheza kimbia na mpeleke huko mwambie waniangalilie mtoto na Mungu atawabariki kaambia ngoja ngoja unaenda wapi nikamwambia shida yako ni gani si wewe si umeniuliza ni umenisimamisha nikakwambia kwenye nataka kukwambia wewe ni acha kusema hapana sasa hii usiku saa nne uko na night dress una viatu siju na kaje unaenda wapi nikamwambia sasa mimi nimechoka na maisha naenda kujigongesha trailer nikufe eh tena ndafute ile trailer nenda mbio kabisa ikinibeba inanifagia ikinifagia kabisa hata wasinizike misi wao waniache uko kwa barabara nioze <laughs>
so tuki tulikuwa tumepanga tunaenda tunasoma huko then tunafanya exams hizi za jesma zenye zinauzwa <laughs> yeah so there is this one saturday there is a cousin okay the niece to the family so ni cousins na age mates wetu wenye tulizaliwa hiyo age age group pamoja alikuwa amekuja Kenya kutembea he's a Tanzanian so akakuja akatuita home nilikuwa na sister yangu eh sister yangu mkubwa alikuwa form 2 akasema aka okay kuna kitabu naendea mahali wacha niende we enda na huyu nikasema okay so i went i went nimeingia kama ni kwetu najua because nishazoea nimeingia kama ni kwetu nimekaa chini uh, na notice the guy anafunga mlango na i'm not used to that na cutting namwambia ni nini unafunga mlango na cutting sako like hakuna nafunga tu najua nasikia kama kuna baridi hivyo namwambia okay then mimi nimetulia tu naangalia tv nikamuuliza wengine ulisema wamekutuma ukuje ukiite wako wapi so, ah wameenda duka haya nikasema wameenda duka aje na wamekutuma ukiite sema anyway so amemaliza kufunga mlango and hapo hapo amekuja and grabbed me and yeah you know <laughs> yeah so ni, ilikuwa nangangana na yeye nangangana na yeye nikipiga nduru hakuna mtu anasikia because sijui ni shetani <laughs> juu hiyo siku hiyo plot haikuwa na mtu wazazi hawakuwa my sister ameenda kuomba kitabu uh, au watoto wengine wameenda sijui duka which i'm not sure unaona so nikangangana na yeye until uh, there is this kabebi alikuwa amezaliwa kalikuwa kadogo kama sema some one year hivyo kwa hiyo family sasa yeah. mm-hmm. so alikuwa kumbe ako kwa room sasa akakuja akaona ni kama tuna fight akaanza kusema kaka kaka unaona akilia mm-hmm. so akapata mimi nikapata chance ya kumpush nikachukua mtoto juu ni msichana mimi huyu this is a new person mimi si mjumi i only know this family nikachukua mtoto kienye alikuwa nayo nikafungua mlango nikatoroka nikaenda home pause yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> the show is becoming hotter na tujasonga <laughs> now this guy the kaka now mm. the tanzanian guy yeah, yeah. yeye hamjazoeana he just visited a family yenye mmezoeana yeah. now yeah true so ali take advantage too cuz yeah ana we, yeah na juana na family yeah. yenye uko uko friends yes, na wao yeah. yeah so humjui simjui hata atuko isalimiana kwa mkono <laughs> na akifunga curtain na mlango yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alisema anataka nini? Ah, unajua anafunga tu. Mimi in fact yeye ndo hata ajui nyumba vizuri kama mimi. Naona mimi nimeingia nimekaa like I mean hao watu wafungi mlango. Wewe unafunga mlango ya nini? Ah, si unajua tu baridi nini? Nasema haya. Naona tena anafunga windows. Namwambia, "Ai, si basi ungeacha windows wazi." Sema, "Wewe usikii kwani?" Unaona? So mimi like, "Anyway, I don't care. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let me just wait for the rest to sort me." So yeah. where hata by the time dirisha inafungwa mlango inafungwa unangoja wengine wakuje msome. Eh, na bado hujani <laughs> hit ni nini anataka. Uh-huh. Unaona? Cuz it's something hata ujui si yeah. atu tumwaifanya yeah. ama uh-huh. alafu plus unajua anijui ani na mimi simjui. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so si kujua intentions zake. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So ukapiga nduru mtoto mm-hmm. akakam. Mhm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nikahepa na mtoto nikaenda home. My mom but now before <laughs> piga nduru <laughs> he has already done it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> na vile alimaliza akakwambia enda home. Ah ah, uh-huh. si nilifanya kukimbia. Nilifanya kutoroka mbio tu, nikipiga nduru alafu nikaenda nikaenda kama nimeenda home. Uh-huh. Because nyumba zetu ziko just a small distance kama 6 minutes walk, unaona? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 6 minutes walk umefika. So mm-hmm. me just ran out to the kid because niko like kwa ni sasa huyu mtu na sasa na huyu ni mtoto mm, na yeah. culture yeah mm. Mm. wow eh uh-huh. so uh hiyo time singe kimbilia sister yangu ama my mom hako around with their mom kuna ibi biashara walikuwa wanafanya ya sunflower seeds uh, zenye ni rejects 
ndio zilikuwa zinapatiwa nguruwe so walikuwa wanafanya hiyo business na walikuwa na manga so uh, wakiwa wanafanya hiyo business hawakuwa i was with my uncle the brother to my mom and uh, alikuwa mkali ni mkali hizo anaenda kwa police so uh, there is this time my cousin uh, the sister to my mom mtoto wake alienda akapata mimba na alichapwa <laughs> you know sasa mm-hmm. so, ile uoga ikaniingia unaona nikanyamaza nikaenda nikaoga na nikatulia unaona nikanyamaza tu hiyo story nikasema nika, okay lini hunt for two three days after that nikasema hmm mbona kila kitu iko sawa mm. i'm okay kila mm. kitu iko kwa nimepona yeah mm. eh hakuna kitu mimi nimepona na feel tu niko sawa mm. alafu niko like sasa hata nikiambia Nora na my sis mm. namwambia nini na niende aliniacha niende peke yangu ndona nikiambia wale nikiwauliza walikuwa naenda duka wapi i mean mimi nilikuwa nabeba kama ni njama walinipangia unaona sasa machungu ilikuwa sana kwa sister yangu ambia what kind of a sister are you <laughs> unaweza fanyaje hivi shuali unaona but nilinyamaza kijwa kila kitu iko sawa yeah na life ikaanza hivyo naenda shule nazimia <laughs> so your time ulitulia hivyo you told no one about it yes. including mom yeah mm-hmm. including my sister mwenye tulikuwa close na yeye sana at that time so mimi naenda shule nazimia naulizwa ni nini Okay June kwa napeleka kwa teacher staff room na sema niko na njaa siku kula breakfast napatiwa chai <laughs> na kula alafu ninaambiwa niende home naenda home so we uki faint eh ulikuwa unasikia njaa um, by then si hujui anything sijui. so we unasikia una feel uko na njaa eh sijui mtu akipata mimba venye anakuwa <laughs> sijui <laughs> siku anajua kitu eh uh-huh. yeah so mimi kwa nasema eh hey, i mean wacha nikule kwa niko nini <laughs> <laughs> then uh, tena ninakaa tena kwa class nazimia naona mm-hmm. so nika nikaitwa na head teacher nikamwambia wewe enda nyumbani uongee na mama akupeleke hospitali mm-hmm. and i remember asa hizo hosi ukienda below 12 years ndio unaenda na mzazi at 12 years and above unaenda peke yako so mama kaniambia wewe fanya nini utaenda hospital utaenda hospital kasema sawa nikaenda hospitali sasa unajua tu signs and symptoms hizo mm. nasema ai mwili wangu hapana ni mwana mgongo nazimia sijui nini mara natapika <laughs> so kwambia daktari ananiambia sasa eh, wewe uko na mimba mm. namwambia mimba ni yako ni mm. wewe udinieka sasa nakuwa mkali unaona nilikuwa kama nilikuwa na deny nilikuwa in denial nasema hapana yezi kuwa mm. unaona So natolea daktari ya asira zote zenye nimekuwa nikieka zenye nasema ai venye ilikuwa sasa aje sasa mbona maisha yangu imeamua kuharibika hivyo unaona nilikuwa na machungu bati na nikula ndani nikitoka tu hivi na smile nikienda room yangu najiuliza maswali and I cry unaona but nikitoka kwa watu I smile yeah I'm good sitasema story nyingi nini but sasa nilijitenga na ile family Yeah, nilijitenga because already nishaona nimefanyika nkolika. Wao nimejitenga na wao, sister yangu sitaki story na yeye. Yeah, until uh, one day <clears throat> my mom is a Christian, so akasema, "Hii shetani inasumbua mtoto wangu wa class eight <laughs> ndo asipite, uh, lazima tuishindwe." So nakupeleka kwa prayers kwa pastor fulani. <laughs> Nika tukaenda prayers. Nienda prayers nikaombewa wakaniombea mimi nimefunga macho sasa mimi najua daktari amesema unajua unajua ukweli umeambiwa hiyo ni ukweli na imekuwa ni ukweli lakini bado unakana <laughs> so mimi ni kama akili inaniambia ni ukweli lakini sasa bado sitaki ku, ku believe ni ukweli ya yeah, nika akaniombea na akanishika tumbo sasa unajua mtu akiwa na ball tumbo inakuwa hard ashika tumbo akaniombea akaniombea jali niuliza unaona nikamwambia tumbo akaniombea akaniombea <laughs> na hiyo story kaisha kaniambia wewe fanya nini enda nyumbani mama kwa ta kuja baadaye and i went home kwenda home eh mam venye alibaki akaambiwa alimwambia wewe eh msichana wako akona mimba pasta sasa yeah <laughs> na 
usimkute na asira ama nini muende umuulize kwa uzuri nini hivyo ujue mimba ni nani nimehape na mbone mehape nikafika maji nimefika so my mom akuniambia straight away alikuja home akaka siku tatu hakuli kazi ni kulia nini so miko like hmm, si stuki <laughs> sasa na vile sasa kuna kakareje kaingine pia kako ndani siji ni ya mtoto <laughs> Sasa mama sasa ishakuwa. Ishakuwa sasa nitafanya. So my mama kaniuliza. Mama kuniuliza nikamwambia. Nikamwambia ukweli yote akaniambia mbona ukuniambia nini nini na na hiyo time ni nani si yangu yako alikuwa na babako alikuwa mbona ukusema tukupeleke hospitali. Nikamwambia we ukua na ngo alikuwa na ngo ningemwambia ngenichapa venye alichapa ule. Sasa mimi ni sasa ningechapo kwa nini na makosa si yangu. Sasa haya ishatokea so I'll, I'll call the guy nyongena yeye nisikie yeye anasema aje so mamu limpatia details vile yeah. kila kitu ile eh, happen uh-huh. nilimwambia kila kitu mm-hmm. so my mom akaka tulikai guess like two days ago akaita the guy kumita the guy akaongea na akakubali no na akamwambia ya nilikosea na nilifanya hivyo uh-huh. E, na sasa sasa isha tokea kwambe sasa isha tokea itabidi ni niambie both families because how are you? I tell my husband uh, baba ya Rita and they tell your family about it because hata hawa si wazazi wako ulifanya kuja Kenya. Kasa mahaya sawa. So my mom told the family na kina dad wakaambiwa. <laughs> na uncle yangu alikuwa hapo alikuwa so furious unaona. Mm-hmm, Undercover. Eh. <laughs> Ako like kesho asubuhi after shall do a story. Tunaenda huko. So kuenda unajua tumezoea warm welcome because venye mko close ni kama family but venye tulikaribishwa ni kama sisi ni maumbo <laughs> hakuna hata salamu ya mkono eh, the mom mwenye alikuwa friend na mamangu alikuwa na size mom unaona tukaenda tukakaa sitting na mimi nikakalishwa hapo nikaulizwa eh, sasa unasema eh, huyu ndio amekupatia mimba eh wewe ulipatia huyu mimba ati hapana <laughs> the guy sasa eh hey, alikana eh hey, aliruka Allah. aliruka akasema hapana mimi sijaifanya kitu kaa hiyo then the woman because sasa ndio auntie huyu kijana akamwambia eh hey, kijana wetu hiyo scandal is just kick at z mbona huku nyi chunguzeni mtoto wenu mumuulize vizuri yeye ndo anajua ni nani responsible acha kuwekelea huyu uje ni mpole na for real unajua wale watu wanaka Mm. So innocent. Mm. Mm. <laughs> eh, so kila mtu anamwangalia unasema hai enyewe. Though si hata mimi nilikuwa nakaa mm. guilty. Mm. <laughs> Lakini nilishindwa mbona waliamua kumsikiza yeye. Unaona? And uh, uncle yangu akole kapana lazima uh, mtachukua majukumu msana itu lazima masomo yendele na lazima mta na hata kaa kwa wazazi wake. Itabidi mumtafutie nyumba, mumlipie hiyo nyumba, mumpatie chakula na masomo yendele unajua sasa juu ya hiyo na wao wakatens waka wakasema hiyo stood sasa waikatae kabisa juu akikata hizo dini zote bill zote hazitakuja kwao na wakakana hivyo na tukamwa anyway ishatokea sasa tutafanya nini na wamekata we go back home tupenda home walikata completely yes the whole family including the man <laughs> the uncle the aunt himself unaona na tukaenda home na maisha ikaendelea hivyo but na just sa dada ni kama alibeba ile maneno yao aliichukua like ana trust wao kuniliko mimi mwenye nilisema kenye your dad happen. now yeah my mm-hmm. dad so alikuwa na machungu na mimi naona hakuniongelesha uh, this this time wameka wameongea with my uncle akasema sasa eh, to secure my education maybe we can go for an abortion Nona since you member si kubwa I guess it was four months hapo So mimi kusikia nikakimbia nikajifungia kwa room yangu nikalia nikalia naambia hapana mimi siendi wa abortion unaona <laughs> Juma my mom used to tell us ukienda abortion una mm-hmm. mtu alikuwa anatupatia onyo unaona ile onyo mzazi yeah. anaweza patia mtoto msichana mm-hmm. Don't go into privacy with a man na it happen ujue nitakatakata na mtu asijaribu kwenda abortion umeua na utaenda hell na hata unaweza kufa we mwenye so mimi nikasema hapana sitaki sasa hiyo pia nayo babangu sijui aliibeba pia unaona akolek like, mbona tena amekata so yeye ndo anajua unaona 
Ah uh, but sasa ikawa hivyo si kufanya mm-hmm. abortion but sasa dad hakuwa ananiongelesha by the way hakuniongelesha mm-hmm. so aliona yeah. juu mekata story za abortion so mm-hmm. inamaanisha hii kitu ulikuwa nilijipeleka Nili, yeah uh-huh. nilikuwa mm-hmm. for it mm-hmm. yeah so uh, until tabia delivery dad okay alinipeleka kwenda ku deliver yeah with but, my mom but uh, the, the journey now your pregnancy you're just staying at home na wao uh, no mm-hmm. siku ka home eh uh, juruma sidili spread alafu na just hizo sasa sasa ndio nika breakout mimi hata nilikuwa na kaa tu sitting room na lia sitaki kukula unaona so uh, my uncle like sema because alikuwa na move out from our place sasa ende akae kwake akasema I'll take her tukae na yeye na my wife Um, so nikaenda nikakaa na yeye akanilipia tuition akanilipia guidance and counseling sessions yeah so nikakaa kwa uncle alafu nilikuwa class eight. so nilirudi home time ya KCP karudi nikafanya KCP then sasa sikurudi kwake nikabidi nikae home because KCP ilikuwa mwezi wa tisa mm-hmm. na mimi nilijifungua January oh yeah umesema rumors zili spread yeah. tuambie kidogo hiyo Okay. <laughs> Yule pastor aliniombea mm-hmm. eh, watoto wake na mimi tulikuwa classmates. So I guess uh, the woman because pia yeye alikuwa hapo alienda kuambia wasichana wake. Wasichana wake waka spread rumors wapi shule. Na kwa kijiji pia sijui aka unaona tu venye watu wao wana spread maneno nini. Story ikatembea. Yeah, ikawa hivyo. Then uh, pia ukitembea tu unaona na nilikuwa sasa hizo unajua si sema nilikuwa nimeokoka. <laughs> na tembe unasikia ati he umsana kwa nani ba unaona mimi watoto wangu wata unaona yani tu maneno ya watu wa kijiji na mimi niko like niwaulize ni bwana yenyu alinifuatia hiyo <laughs> because niko na machungu alafu wao wananiongezea unajua society wakaona mimi ndio mbaya mimi ndio criminal unaona watoto watu wakajitenga siko na marafiki nilikuwa lonely alafu unajua I expected a uh, close family wako pamoja na mimi but hata wao hawakuwa na mimi the only person mwenye alisimama na mimi ni yanko yangu na pia si ati wazazi wangu walinitenga hivyo because utasikia wazazi wengine wanatupa wana watoto wao nje nini but mimi walinikubali hivyo but unajua pia hiyo relationship kuongea nini unaona kujulia mtu hali ujue venye anaendelea haikuwa na hiyo pia inatakikana wali wa, labda wali feel disappointed yeah mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. tuseme wali feel disappointed mm-hmm. yeah so rumors zili spread hivyo mm-hmm. uh generally nikajifungua my baby girl but exam ukafanya yeah nilifanya mm-hmm. mm-hmm. nikakaa home hiyo december january nikajifungua uh, so after that ndio sasa dada kaanza kuonyesha kutoa <laughs> kutoa kenye ilikuwa ina inamuumiza ndani unapata mtu hii yeah na kaa unasikia hey, wewe malaya Eh watoto mala wengine wako kwa bao analea watoto wao wanatafuta pesa wewe unakaa hapo unangojea nikulishe. Siwezi kulisha ukue paka mama na u expect nilisha watoto wako utabidi utoke. Ona. <laughs> And uh, my mama alikuwa amenyamaza sisi yangu sasa hizo alikuwa form 3. Naona me yanga sisi hizo alikuwa class 7 the other one alikuwa class I guess 5 or 4 hapo. Yeah so eh uh, ilibidi tu ni hustle because eh, kusoma kweli hakuna kitu yenye alisimamia ilikuwa inahusu mtoto wangu isipokuwa sasa ile food nilikuwa ninaka home na shelter mm-hmm. manguo nini ilikuwa yote either mimi or my mom and my mom was jobless so ilibidi tu mtu wa hustle jipia singetaka kuona mama anateseka mm-hmm. only because of me unaona na mimi pia si ati nikupenda kwangu but ishakuwa Yeah so um nikaanza kufulia watu nguo kidogo nani Rita yeah before tuanze kufua nguo mm-hmm. tutaka nikurudishe nyuma kidogo mm-hmm. kwa shule now rumors zime spread neighbors wanajua yeah. society wanajua uh, students especially sasa wale walikuwa close na wewe the mm-hmm. same maybe candidates yeah. wamejua what was your experience ya hawa watoto wengine mm-hmm. shule na mm-hmm. maybe the teachers walichukulia je wakati wali, walijua uko hivyo mm-hmm. okay walimu walikuwa supportive walimu yeah uh-huh. walikuwa wananisikiza 
siku au oh, apia siku anatangamana sana na wanafunzi mm-hmm. during your time ya exam ju okay nili <laughs> nimejitarisha hivi rehearsals niliambiwa nisiende kila kitu nikatarishiwa so mimi nilikuwa naenda tu kufanya exam so that tuesday morning nimeenda eh nimefika tu kwa gate watu Yon, wakaanza kucheka hiyo ndio siku ya exam sasa yeah. the first day ya exam eh, uh-huh. wanafunzi wakacheka wakacheka wana kuja wanacheka tu mbele yako ukiangalia wakacheka wakacheka but sasa ningefanya na mimi nasimama na waangalie jota ninashindwa naenda wapi sijui class yangu iko wapi sijui hata <laughs> niko index gani naona niko tu clueless uh, until this uh, teacher of mine alikuwa anatufunza siari naitwa Tisha Jane <laughs> um, akakuja akanichukua akanipeleka staff room nipeleka staff room akaniambia ni ngoja hapo akanipea chai akaniambia we ngoja because 8 jafika time because unajua primary unafika mapema ndio mtue na time ya prayer na parade hivyo then you go and do your exams akaenda wakaongea na wao wakiwa na walimu wengine the other students sasa yeah mm-hmm. akaenda wakaongea na the other students uh, later nikachukuliwa nikapelekwa kwa kila class wakiomba msamaha <laughs> wow yeah mm-hmm. wakiomba msamaha but unajua already ile kitu yeah. wali create mm-hmm. iliniumiza alafu labda walikuwa na cheka na kafani na uniform na mimba <laughs> sijui <laughs> sijui walikuwa na cheka nini but unajua already ilini, ilini, iliacha mark kwa roho yangu yenye ilikuwa tu ni uchungu nikijua all this is not because nilijitakia unaona but venye tu wengine wananiona hata wao labda wananiona mimi ni malaya hivyo mm-hmm. mimi mm-hmm. ndio nilijitakia unaona mimi ni mbaya yeah So uh, nafanya exam nenda staff room I have my lunch narudi nafanya exam jioni naenda zangu home peke yangu <laughs> watoto wataki ku associate na yeah. wewe eh hey, hata wale walikuwa so close mm. wale wenye mnaita best friends and stuff hakuna mtu alitaka story yangu so nilikuwa tu naenda home peke yangu ya kesho yake naenda nafanya exam yeah hadi nikamaliza mm. mm-hmm. mm-hmm. yeah wow so kafika mtu yeye akazaliwa January. Yeah. Mso ukaanza ku hustle. Yes. Aha. Uh-huh. Sasa mtoto anahitaji nappies, mm. na pampers, mm. anahitaji sabuni ya kuoga, anahitaji sabuni ya kufungua zake. Mimi mwenyewe anahitaji food mm. enough. Mm. Yeah, so nikaanza ku hustle. Na kulia watu manguo. Eh, mama alikuwa ananisaidia kiwa free tunaenda na yeye. Ukisema unafulia watu manguo na maanisha nini? Uh, kazi ya dobi <laughs> unafulia mtu anakuita unafua nguo anakulipa unaenda kwake yeah. unamfulia eh uh-huh. ananilipa naenda home hiyo pesa ndio sasa nitatumia sabuni mafuta nini ni mbaye nguo zingine yeah. so kwa siku kuna make kama how much hata sisema kwa siku unaweza sema tu kama mara tatu kwa wiki oh eh, unafua nguo yeah uh-huh. nafua nguo 400 uh-huh. au nafua nguo 500 hivyo uh-huh. Ah nikaenda hivyo uh, you know sasa niko young but sasa nayo mgongo ilikuwa inauma <laughs> jia kuinama alafu usija kai hiyo period hadi nipone unaona so nilikuwa nilikuwa na, nafua nashindwa hadi kusimama mm. na baki tu nimeinama hivi <laughs> ni venye mgongo inauma mm. nikamwoniache hiyo uh, um, nikaanza okay one of the women nilikuwa nafulia nguo akasema niende nikae na mtoto Nisifanye kitu I can go with my kid. Nikae na mtoto wake bora nimlishe ni mchenge. I keep him company. Hadi jioni atoke job arudi. Ananilipa mia. Nikaona it's not a bad deal since naenda tu nampatia food nini alafu mimi mwenyewe nakaa. Unaona hakuna kitu yenye unafanya. Alikuwa anajifanya kazi za nyumba kama ni vyombo, nyumba kufua anafanya mwenyewe. And I agreed. So um, nikakaa nikakaa but sasa eh, ni kama aliambia wenzake hivyo na watu wa kolegi eh huyu mtoto amependa huyu msichana yani hata akienda analia anataka kutukuka na ye. mtoto <laughs> alikupenda eh uh-huh. venye aliambia wenzake kila mtu anataka sasa nikae na mtoto wake na siezienda ati nyumba nikae na huyu nini so i talked to my mom tufanye daycare sasa kwa nyumba yetu aha uh-huh. na akakubali and my dad pia hakuwa na shida as long as you're making money <laughs> Ujisort <laughs> na hey, mtoto wako. Ujisort <laughs> na nichangie pia kwa nini ya ya familia. Yeah, so uh, 
nilianza na watoto watatu akaenda hivyo hadi wakafika naweza pata hata 10 na hiyo nalipisha mia kwa siku mtoto mmoja e, wow mzazi analeta analeta lunch naleta na hiyo ya saa 4 na saa 10 na analeta diaper ya kumchange so mimi na as long as i feed them na nimewachange at the right time na wacha wanacheza ikifika masaa kulala na lala mzazi anamkujia jioni akienda home until uh, sijui rumwa sizilifikia aje chief unajua ile time yenyewe kila kitu inaenda mbaya <laughs> yako <laughs> eh akakuja katreten niko mdogo eh, sina health eh, certificate ya yeah, health ya yeah. mm-hmm. niko mdogo niko under age na yet nina yani mimi ni mtoto because hizo niko 15 nachunga watoto <laughs> imagine <laughs> so kifaa kwa na habari mtoto wako na mtoto alikuwa anajua <laughs> alikuwa anajua bai <laughs> ni ile tu unajua tu watu wengine wapawa wanaamua tu kwa kisirani hawataki kujua what happened na nini akasema haya ikakatizwa hivyo dekia ikafungwa eh tulibaki uh-huh. i guess nilibaki na mtoto mmoja peke na huyu au ni wenye hapana wacha wakuja watushike sisi wote kwa <laughs> unajua sasa eh, ikabidi tu tukae na hako mm-hmm lakini deki ya hao wengine watu walianza tu kuitoa watoto moja 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 uh, until sasa nikaamua wewe sasa hii aisaidi acha nitafute ni kitu kingine ya kufanya before utafute kitu kingine ya kufanya yeah. umekuwa na jamii ya kufua mm-hmm. ukakuja deki ya yeah. mtoto wako sasa hizo wako wapi ukifanya hizi shughuli niko na yeye siku anamwacha na wakati wa kufua nilikuwa ngaa namchukua kama sasa sina baby baby coat ama nini ama nini na tandika hapo kusingwa zao ni chafu hapo na kura zenye naanza kufua na gawa hivyo nikiweka kwa maji nikifua na yeye hapo hapo kwa hizo nguo zingine amekaa amekaa hapo acheze <laughs> na mnalisha kwa hizo nguo chafu eh, eh, eh. <laughs> na mnalisha hapo yeye acheze mimi naendelea kufua hadi namaliza na mweka chini na maliza na osha makareza watu and we go oh. yeah deke mm-hmm. deke nilikuwa tu na yeye mm-hmm anacheza hata yeye kama alikuwa anafanya <laughs> e, nikichange au wengine na yeye namchange wao wengine wakikula na yeye anakula lakini sasa unajua yake extra ni kunyonya <laughs> eh yeah. mm-hmm. ndio hivyo oh, wow yeah. so katafuta another alternative yes uh, so kuna this time nilikuwa naenda kangemi and uh, i love kids so tukaenda kwa bakery moja na tukaonja keki yake tukasikia ni tamu alikuwa anauza 20 bob Uh, na yake alikuwa anaeka alikuwa anaeka cream. So hiyo uh, time watu walikuwa wanauza keki ambao but haina cream. So nikafa interest ngambe eh naweza taka hii naweza chukua hii ni uze kaambia hii kazi kona faida eh. Sasa mimi train naweza kuzia 3 something you sell hiyo uh, truck yuza na 2020 mimi nakuzia na 15. Ikiuza yote na 2020 itakuja for something or 5 something. Sikumbuki. Mm-hmm. Kasema eh hey, sawa acha nitafute pesa nitaku nitakuja kinambia hata inaje utafute pesa wewe kuja chukua train na deni enda uze utabaki na profit yako unilete cash yangu mm-hmm. e, na hivyo ndo nikaanza ya keki nilianza na train moja inaenda siku mbili nikaenda hivyo ikafika mahali hadi sasa ninatumia na nauza train tatu kwa siku moja <laughs> unauzia kina nani sasa um, nauzia makanga au kwa stage e, nauza makanga nauzia wa mama wa soko mtoto wako wapi kwa mgongo <laughs> Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> eh, siku anamuacha. Uh-huh. Mtoto wako kwa mgongo na uzia watu kwa stage. Uh, wengine walikuwa wanaoda. So ilifika mahali sasa because they loved the cake. Hata mimi nilikuwa nimezipenda mm-hmm. sana. Ikafika mahali sasa watu wanaoda. Then uh, nilikuwa najua ku make crepes na numbers na pipes na popcorns. So uh, tukamua with my with the help of my big sis kwa tunafanya hivyo eh, na keki tunapeleka kwa birthdays tuna kenye mtu ananunua tu ni juice unaona na ikawa hivyo ikawa hivyo until um, mama kaamua nirudishe shule kwa mwana sasa tumefika month eh mwaka imeisha sasa hizo mtoto ana ndio january sasa the next the next sasa, year sasa yeah. aha aha so uh, but sasa mama kaenda kuuliza dad dad akasema hizi nisomesha mimi nimeamua ati nimeona maisha imekuwa imekuwa mkubwa kabisa ati naweza jifungua kwetu 
hizi nisomesha nitafute kazi sasa bila mtoto wangu eh nitafute pesa mimi nisomeshe ni ni leo mtoto wangu na nimsomeshe so uh, bado hizo zote zinaka kwa moyo because i was silent mimi sikuwa naongea anaongea tu but mimi naweka tu naweka tu nazichukua na ninazijaza tu kwa moyo wangu uh, so uh, mom the help of bursaries na ya yeah, bursaries na pesa hizi za huku za huku za kuomba nikaenda a girls day school sasa nilikunga ninaenda jioni ah, na natoka naenda shule asubuhi natoka jioni sasa hizo sasa ndio sister yangu kwa form 4 because nikipata bola alikuwa form 2 then that year nilikuwa nga free sikuenda shule sasa hii mwaka ingine ako form 4 sasa sasa hizo ndio sasa dada sema unajua huyu ako form 4 eh na huyu ako class 8 au ah, huyu ako class 7 sasa itabidi au watoto wapatie humble time ya kusoma so i had to do the house chores niko na mtoto wangu nafaka kufua nguo zake niko na uniform zangu niko na kupika niko na homework yangu <laughs> so uh, na shule ilikuwa mbali sema natoka shule nafika home around 6:30 hapo sasa nianze kushughulika hivyo nifanye ni make sure watu sasa ime live on time hivyo yeah nikafanya fanya mwaka but nilikuwa naumia naona na feel mbona mimi nimetengwa mbona wata, mbona niliwaambia kweli eh, waka dada kaamua kusikiza the other side and not me kwani mimi si mimi asingenipenda asi kama vinyange simama na na watoto wengine asimame na mimi ama anipeleke shule because mtoto ndo huyo na mimi si ati nimekuwa kilema you see yeah so uh, nikaenda shule but naenda na machungu haya kwenda shule wenye tulifanya nao class 8 wenye walikuanga kwa ile group ya kunicheka mm-hmm. niliwakuta huko wako form 3 <laughs> sasa What? sasa huko ndio sasa waka spread rumors vizuri sasa bila kuogopa mtu <laughs> sasa wamekuwa wakubwa wako high school eh, mm-hmm. sasa wame spread rumors hey, um, sasa huko na mtoto nini sasa unajua shule nilikuwa vizuri na amani but sasa yote imeharibiwa because eh, kuanzia form 1 to form 4 watu tu wanakuja tu wakiona uko three and dita tuko na mtoto eh unakuuliza eh wanauliza hiyo swali wajue sasa kama hiyo umbea ni ukweli na mimi because ni wangu nitasema eh and i'm proud to have her unaona yet ilifanyika hivyo but nafurahia nikikaona jioni niki smile unaona akiniita aniti mama na anita na jina yangu mwenye nasikia wengine wakiniita akiniita hivyo na feel enyewe mungu alikuwa na sababu Aya ruma sika spread ikafikia paka walimu. Sasa walimu kila mwalimu lesson ikitoka anakwambia ndrita follow me <laughs> unamfuata. <laughs> Anakutoa hapo nje anakuuliza sasa, "Eh hey, nasikia uko na mtoto eh? Hey. Anatoshana aje?" Nimewaambia, "Eh hey, nini? Hey, kila kitu iko poa. Eh hey, kila kitu iko poa sawa." Alafu naenda. Yaani wanataka ku... mwingine atataka kujua what happened. Eh hey, ni nini kiliendelea? Mbona imefika hapo nini? Unaona? So uh, na pia the moon na una wanashinda wakikurudisha hapo inakuuma mm-hmm. inakuuma because uja move uja move on unaona haya nikakaa hivyo uh, there is this time tulikuwa na um, weekend challenge zenye huwa zinakuwa kwa high schools so uh, nikatuma because sasa home vitu zimekuwa overwhelming house chores mm-hmm. yani sina time ya kusoma shule ndio hiyo unasumbuliwa yani una peace na, una, na mimi nilikuwa najua this is the only chance nita soma at least mama wangu anangangana na mimi pia nitakuja kumsaidia yena mtoto wangu eh so nikatuma uh, pepa ya swali nikamwambia home kukiwa kuko uh, it's not a stable environment for you to study na shule pia it's the same nita nitasoma aje na nimeomba Mungu na sioni anything changing <laughs> no so the pastor akasema Mwenye ametuma hii ametuma hii question afanye nini anione after the weekend challenge so kasema sawa i went and talked to him and alikuwa uh, na the wife nikaongea na wao nikalia nikawaambia kila kitu venye shule kumekuwa wakasema don't cry unaona wakani encourage wakaniambia you know is uh, negative words ninapata zenye watu wananiambia ni zi cancel kimoyo moyo 
because pia nazo words have power the council ukiambiwa ni weke masema i refuse in jesus name no na and have peace wakasema they'll do follow up so uh nika feel tu nimefika at the right place <laughs> so walikuwa wanisaidia so wanakuja wanatembea weekend na wakikuja wananiletea shopping yangu na mtoto sasa because eh, nilikuwa naambiwa nitafute pesa yangu na mtoto wangu nikasema na mimi sitashare jua hata yao hawataki tu <laughs> so zangu nilikuwa naweka kwa room yangu <laughs> nikitaka kutumia natoa kama niungaya uji natoa na natumia ikibaki narudisha huko <laughs> so um <clears throat> si juma maliwaona aje but hata uh, niliacha kwenda chatini tulikuwa tunaenda wote ninaenda church yao eh, so mam si juya liona aje <laughs> akasema unajua when the deal is too good think twice sasa nashindua nafikiria nini au watu ndo wamenipatia hope tena ya life wamefanya ni feel vizuri wamefanya ni feel na jirudia unaona akasema haya sitakata communication na all that nilikuwa na simu hii ya button nilikuwa na communicate na wao uh, wamekuja wananipatia pesa ile ya mahitaji ya dia fair ya shule like hata sikuwa naitisha kitu wazazi wangu juu kila kitu iko until uh, mama akachukua simu akafuta namba yao <laughs> na akaniambia ni asiwei niona huko ati ya roho yake sijui na feel ina feel kuna kitu okay oh, imekram namba <laughs> 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 sikuwa nimekram namba ili niuma ni connect sasa aki nakwambia ni feel limechukia mamangu <laughs> lakini sasa ningefanya nini nikaacha kuenda huko eh but sasa sikufanya kitu like sasa nili, nilikuwa tu nakaa home but sasa hizo maneno zilikuwa zinazidi zinazidi hivyo eh mara nafukuzwa school fees <laughs> nikifukuzwa kwa school fees ninakaa kama time yote ile time ya exam ndio ninaenda nina ninapewa hiyo bursary imetokea na lipa nafanya exam nina fail unaona <laughs> hadi uh, that time ikakuwa hivyo so uh, sasa hizo because nikiwa na wao nililearn kwa close na Mungu Um, nika nini nilikuwa tu na siku moja naambia Mungu sasa nataka tuonge natoka nje na kaa kwa kiti ya plastic na face juu naambia Mungu sasa nataka tuonge si unaniona eh na mimi pia nakuona acha tuonge <laughs> niambie unataka nini na maisha yangu mimi nataka kusoma Una, sasa na wewe umenipangia aje mimi nipeleke shule tu unaona eh, and nikakao nikiwa hapo nika worship nika worship Nilikuwa tuna feel pia vizuri nikiwa kwa presence ya Mungu. Sana nikukaa huku nafikiria sijui naongeleshwaje nini. So nilikuwa na napenda company yangu na Mungu. Uh, so hiyo uh, hiyo duration hata sidhani kama hiyo wiki iliisha. My grandma akakuja. The aunt to my mom. So mama ya mom sister yake akakuja kutembea na akatu invite for Christmas. So uh, tuka Christmas ikafika tukajitarisha kila mtu akona furaha tukaenda huko but kufika huko eh, bibi ana notice wengine wote wako na furaha but mimi kuna I feel ana feel niko distant kiasi with na wao mimi mwenyewe ni kama hata mawazo haiko hapo unaona <laughs> niko tu na mtoto wangu hivyo so akakuja kaniuliza ni nini mbaya mbona una feel wewe ni mslim kuliko hao wengine unakaa tuko distant nini nikampigia story yote nikamwambia yeye ilikuwa hivi nini na sasa mimi si, si feel kama tawa ni familia yangu because wenye wananibeba ni nini akaniambia sasa mimi nitakusaidia aje juu na nataka kukusaidia but nashindwa nitakusaidia aje nikamwambia venye unaweza nisaidia nipeleke shule juu na joni kimaliza form four at least nitakuwa na distance mamisho na chief mahali <laughs> na nitakuwa na knowledge enough ya mimi venye nitajisimamia na mtoto wangu akasema okay then i'll take you to school and pay your fees wewe tafuta shule but shopping and the rest talk to your parents watakulipia akasema sawa so uh, nikaenda nikatafuta shule uh, msagitao girls siko huko kikuyu uh, so tukaitwa interview kintwa kuitwa interview najua huko kwingine nilikuwa form 1 alafu na nilikuwa na nilikuwa nimefail nilikuwa na d Dimaina. So kwenda interview na wao walikuwa wanachukua watu wa class 8 na 300 and above. Na mimi hata sikuwa na hiyo 300 and above alafu eh, from other schools walikuwa wanachukua C plane and above. 
na mimi siko bado nimefikisha so uh, nikaenda nilikuwa nimesomea nilikuwa nimesomea tu kabisa tu niliambia interview ni math english na kiswahili so nilikuwa nimesoma kwa hizo subject nikaambia Mungu Mungu ninakuomba shule niingie juu shule ndio nimefeel nataka kusoma nimalize alafu it's a boarding school at least nikifika shule natoa mind yangu na stress hizi zingine nasoma nikifika home napambana na za home <laughs> so um kind of interview but interview ilikuwa tu ni board members wa meka then uko hapo na mzazi wako unaulizwa why you want to kwenda kwa shule yao mbona umetoka hiyo shule nyingine unaona oh si hata tini exam yeah si exam mm-hmm. so uh mimi nikawaambia mimi nataka kusoma akamwambia mbona hiyo shule nyingine unaweza kusoma nikawaambia hiyo shule nyingine singeza kusoma jia home akamwambia eh si hata wengine wako day school na wanapita wana survive tu na shida zao za nyumbani so si kuamua kuleta story mingi akasema haya sawa ukasema okay uh, grade yako ya from the former school ni kidogo na the grade yako ya class 8 ni kidogo walikuwa nachukua 300 and they had to 64 so there is no space for you in this school akasema okay so nikatoka nilikuwa machozi ilikuwa tu kwa macho <laughs> nasema wa sasa hii chance imenikita mama ngo sasa usijali kuna shule zingine mzuri tutapata tu bado mm. twende so tukiwa tunaenda walikuwa wamebaki na papers zangu zingine so one of the teachers akakuja kama ana, anakuja kama anatuita akasema hebu kujeni tukaenda akasema kuja bado acha tukuulize hizi maswali tuone kama tunaweza kuconsider tena akasema sawa sasa mimi nikarudi eh roho ilikuwa inapiga <laughs> nashindwa eh wameamua aje <laughs> so kuenda wanasema uh, we've noticed you did your class eight in 2013 na sasa tuko 2016 Izi miaka acha hii mwaka nyume ukiwa 2015 ulikuwa nga shule ulikuwa shule ya last year. Izi miaka zingine hapa ulikuwa unafanya nini? Ni pesa ilikosekana ama nini? So mi nikaanza kulia. Nikamwambia mimi niko na mtoto. Kambia lakini eh hiyo ingekuzuia. Unaona? Sasa wanataka kujua mo. Nikawaambia kila kitu. And uh, venye nilikuwa nalia kusema sawa juu ya hivyo uh, tunaweza unaweza join shule yetu but you have to repeat. Kasema hey, kama ni ku repeat. Sawa, akoni. <laughs> Kwani it's not a big deal. Hiyo mwaka mmoja si ati hata ni venye mmenisaidia alafu pia sijasoma ju nilikuwa to and from to yeah, any home ku, ku off shule ju ya fees. Yeah, na nika repeat nikaingia shule form 1. Kuingia shule form 1, I thought kila kitu itakuwa sawa. Lakini sasa dada alisema hata shopping hata nifajia na mam sasa ni mama na ngangana sasa na shopping na mimi mali nitaweza so uh, hapo ndio sasa nilikuwa nafanya kama ni holidays hivi nitafuta kazi ya house girl mahali nafanya ndio nitafute pesa nye, nitanunulia mtoto wangu vitu zenye atabaki akitumia na mimi zenye nitaenda nazo shule because my dad have provide na mama alikuwa na chip in mali ataweza so uh, nimeenda shule Sometimes zinakosa anatumia hadi sabuni za watu. Unaona wale watu wanafua tu sabuni mara mbili wanatupa wanachukua ingine because shopping iko enough. Na mimi nachukua na ziweka zilikuwa zinasaidia. Uto tu pieces. Eh hizo pieces nachukua naeka nafulia nguo. Zikipatikana ni sawa. So um nikawa hivyo but sasa bado dad analeta issues. Unaona ananiongelesha vibaya. Unaona food imesaviwa sapa zikwapo kwa meza unasikia eh wewe unakula na hujafanyia kazi. Unajua <laughs> nilikuwa gani kuna like, seriously it's just food. Yeah. Unaona? Eh nilikwambia siwezi kulisha ni mama mzima sasa. Wewe si ni mama. Wewe si ni mtoto wako ushajua kujifungua. Eh sasa ujue venye utakuwa unashughulikia mtoto wako. Unaona? Uh, until uh, nimesoma hivyo form 1, form 2. Sasa hapo form 3 bado issues zinaendelea ndio sasa na feel vitu zimejaa sasa kwa roho sasa nataka nitoe nitoe because zilikuwa too much shule Nona. ilikuwa boarding yeah shule ilikuwa mm-hmm. boarding uh, so uh, there is this one night uh, dada ameongea hivyo okay nili i can't remember nilikuwa nimefanya nini nika earn hiyo pesa nika uh, toa kapikiwa tu sapa mzuri alafu tena amekuja ameanza kuongea unaona so jia 
asira na uchungu na kushindwa i mean surely so niache na amani nikamrushia hiyo food <laughs> nikamrudi yake yangu nikamwambia chukua ukule si uko na tumbo kubwa chukua ukule yote <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> akakasirika kanambia we nilikwambia ni shetani sana malaya nini nini nikamwambia we mimi na yeye ni malaya <laughs> unaona <laughs> juu sasa maneno imetoka juu ya asira na nikatoka kama nimechukua mtoto wangu nikabang mlanga mlango nimezoea nilikuwa nimezoea issues crazy we just go and hug my baby kwa room yangu tunalia ridi tunalala kesho it's another day unaona si ati life yangu ilikuwa haikuwa ikuwa happy sikuwa iku smile at na smile unaona nilikuwa tu na machungu na machungu he so kubang mlango mama anakuja na niambia umeongelesha aje babako niko like mama unamsikiza nini wewe oh, wewe oh, utaki kujua venye ananiongelesha lakini unataka ati oh, ni baba yako amekuza babangu nini mimi simjui unaona <laughs> eh mimi simjui mm-hmm. anani anani aje kama mimi ni malaya that means anajua umalaya venye inafanywa so hata yeye ni, ni hivyo and my mama can slap ju nimeongea hivyo aki iliniuma nikatoka nilisema eh na sasa hii ni too much si mimi ndio mwenye mimi ndio mbaya mimi ndio shetani huko So acha niende ni nijiue ni kae kama nikae na shetani tu kabisa unaona So already nilikuwa nimechange Nikatoka nikatoka nikaenda kwa nilikuwa naenda kwa hii waiyaki hai naenda kujigongesha trailer nikijua usiku hakuna jam gari zinaenda zikienda tu hakuna kusimama <laughs> So unaenda kwa barabara uchoto na yeah. trailer eh hey. Nimalize tu maisha yangu hivyo nilikuwa na mwoke okay, because naona Alafu my dad was close to my girl. Alikuwa close sana na mtoto wangu anampenda. Unaona hadi anamletea vitu. Sasa unashindua sasa mbona mimi sasa si basi kama blow ako hivyo wacha yeye ni repress. Wa assume huyu ni mimi wanile vizuri basi. Unaona? <laughs> wacha mimi nimalize maisha ya. Since yeye anakaa vizuri na nimeona venye wana treat let me just nijipange tu na maisha yangu. So ni ndio huyo mimi nimeenda nimeenda niki almost kufika kwa barabara napatana na kijana mwingine ulikuwa sasa hiyo na mtoto kwa mgongo ah ah nimemwacha oh. uh-huh. nimemwacha so um, ni kanini uh, nikapatana na huyu kijana huyu kijana nikiwa na mimba uh, ile time before after KCP so, sikuenda kwa kwa nko yangu nilibaki home kijana alikuwa na soko ya mamake walikuwa na operate so i used to go there na kana kula matunda alijua walikuwa wanani understand wananipea bure hadi watu walikuwa nasema <laughs> he's the person responsible oh. because at even nimempenda na mimba yangu so nikapatana na yeye nikamwambia wewe ndio unajua shida yangu na mimi nimekuwa nikikufu na, na umeona na si ati si, kuna kitu wenye ujui unaona na nimeishi kukwambia venye kina mama wana wananifanya so nataka nikupatie direction kuna you see sasa huyu the pastor mwenye waliniongelesha the wife alikuwa anga na mtoto mmoja mm. and tulikuwa close na ye because hata yeye okay she got married to the pastor with that one kid so alikuwa ananiambia hata mimi ilikuwa hivyo na hata mimi ili ngangana but si mimi unaona niko kazi mtoto wangu amekuwa mkubwa nini so don't give up so venye tulikuwa close nikajua hata ni mtoto wangu akienda kwa huyu mama hata teswa hata mm. <laughs> maisha mzuri So nikamwambia nikamwambia fanya hivi unaona enda place fulani 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 kuna church mali fulani kesho when time tu mtoto wangu anacheza cheza hivi because hizo wako i guess for years yeah mchukue kimbia na mpeleke huko mwambie waniangalie huyo mtoto na Mungu atawabariki kwaambia ngoja ngoja unaenda wapi nikamwambia shida yako ni gani si wewe si umeniuliza ni umenisimamisha nikakwambia kinyi nataka kukwambia wewe ni acha kusema hapana sasa hii usiku saa nne uko na night dress una viatu siju na kaje unaenda wapi nikamwambia sasa mimi nimechoka na maisha naenda kujigongesha trailer nikufe eh tunaenda tele trailer nenda mbio kabisa ni beba inanifagia ikinifagia kabisa hata wasinizike misi wao waniache uko kwa barabara nioze <laughs>